Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Usman. Today I'm going to be talking about V cutters for cigars and why I'm not particularly a fan. Now I know that a lot of cigar smokers love V cutters. A lot of cigar smokers swear by them. That's the only kind of cutter that they want to use. But personally, I'm not a fan. In fact, I really, really dislike V cutters. Now I bought my V cutter. I've got the Calibri one, which I bought from the cigars website. I saved up like a bunch of points and then I decided to buy one of these because I wanted to see what it was all about. And honestly, I'm just not getting on with it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not anything to do with Calibri themselves. I mean, I think Calibri make fantastic products. It's just this style of cutter I'm not a fan of. And in this video, I'm going to give three reasons why I I want to say I hate, I hate V cutters. So the first reason is the draw. Now I've been using this for a couple of months now and I've been using it on every other cigar. I smoke quite regularly so that's a lot of cigars and honestly every time I use this V cutter the draw is never quite as comfortable as what I get with a straight cutter. I enjoy the draw that I get with a straight cutter, it just feels more comfortable, feels more free. This, it just feels a bit restrictive and if I've only done a single cut then the edge is a little bit sharp so it doesn't feel that comfortable in the mouth and if you do like multiple cuts on a cigar then it feels a bit bumpy. It's just overall not a great experience and the draw is never in my experience anyway, it's just never comfortable and it's just never as free as what a straight cutter is. So that is quite a big reason for me. Obviously you want a good draw from your cigar and if your cut is not doing it for you then the cut is not the one for you. The second reason is that this really isn't a flexible cutter. Now if you've got a standard cylindrical Parejo shaped cigar then this might be okay for you. However, if you've got any other shape like a Pyramid or a Figurado or a, uh, or a Salamones or a Diadama, then this really isn't that great. I mean, sure, you can use it on a Figurado or a you know, Pyramid shaped cigar and you can get away with it, but honestly, it's not ideal. A straight cutter just does a much better job of being a more flexible cutter across the board. And this, you know, when you've, if you've got anything other than a Parejo, then it's not that great. And I really enjoy Pyramid cigars a lot of my cigars are not standard Parejo shaped cigars. A lot of my cigars are Pyramids and Salamones and Diodamas. So this isn't really ideal for, my, for the kind of cigars that I generally enjoy. And the final reason why I don't like V cutters is admittedly quite silly. Like it's pretty silly, but when you use a V cutter on a heavy ring gauge cigar, or heavier I should say, like this Trinidad V here, it's got a ring gauge of 54. I mean this is already pretty phallic in shape and size and when you put a V cut on the top of it, what does that look like? I mean it's starting to look pretty one eyeish, doesn't it? And uh, honestly I really don't want to put that in my mouth. I know that's childish, I know that's really silly, but that's just, that's just what it is, you know. That's how I feel. I'm being completely immature about it, I get it. But those are three reasons or two reasons and one very silly reason as to why I don't like using V cutters. So uh, there you have it. I mean, I'm not gonna return this. I'm probably gonna keep it. In fact, actually, I'm not gonna keep it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a giveaway. So I'll leave some instructions below in like the description or something. I'll come up with some way or some reason how people can enter. But yeah, I'll give this um, V cutter away. So hopefully someone can use it and make use out of it. And it's not just gathering dust in my house. But uh, in the meantime, just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. Make sure you check out our website because we've got lots of cool stuff on there which really does help support the channel. So just one of those ways that you can help uh, help me continue making videos. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.